Hey guys, what is going on? It's Constantine, aka Smart Cloud Commentaries, and I want to start off by saying thank you very much to all of you guys who subscribed. I got 16 subscribers within one day of starting my, uh, my posting my first video, so I'm glad you guys like them. I even got compared to uh, X Jaws, the Mark of J, and uh, I really want to thank you guys for that. So. Uh, if you like the video, just remember to leave a rating. It really helps me out. And uh, if you didn't like it, just leave a dislike. Uh, that's what it's there for. Anyway, without any further ado, let's just get right into the commentary. I'm going to bring you guys five amazing um, facts and theories uh, that I found out about recently. So, number one is the faster you move, the heavier you get. So, if you run really fast, you, you don't gain any, any weight. Um, at least as fast as humanly possible. Uh, but if you were to run at a speed almost that of the speed of light, there would be a point where you just can't really go any faster because nothing with mass can travel as fast as the speed of light because there is a point where it just slows down and just cannot move that fast. So if something else, like let's say I were to move uh, about 1% off of the speed of light, so 99% of the speed of light, and someone else was to run at about 99% the speed of light, and they were to give me a push, there wouldn't be much faster that I could go. And that energy, that mass and energy, according to uh, Einstein's theory of relativity, uh, since mass and energy are equivalent, I would just gain mass, because that energy that you put in wouldn't be able to propel me faster. So I would actually get heavier as you push me. And uh, one of you actually wanted to know what the theory of relativity is. So I'm going to give you guys an example of what the theory of relativity is. Um, let's say me and you were both in a room and there was a watch and a ruler on the ground. If to me and to you, one inch on the ruler would be the same for both of us, as well as one second. But if you were to stand outside in a, in a field and I was to fly by you, at close to the speed of light, my inch and my one second would be different than your one inch and one second because uh, we are not moving at the same speed, and that's pretty much what it is. Uh, I'll try to I'll do a different video that's completely on the theory of relativity if that didn't make sense to you. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next topic here. Um, oh, another one I found really interesting is that all matter that makes up the human race could fit into a cube of sugar. <laughs> so um, pretty much uh, atoms are 99.9999999999999999% empty. So as uh, someone else in my school put it, my science teacher actually, if you put a little grain of sand on a football field, the grain of sand would be the total mass of the nucleus and then the football field itself would be the empty space around it which is just actually amazing. So, if you were to crush every single atom right next to each other and eliminate all that empty space, the whole entire human race could fit into a tiny sugar cube that would weigh five billion tons, which is 10 times the weight of all humans who are currently alive. And uh, that's actually what the super dense mass left over after a certain kind of supernova is, if you guys didn't know. And if you guys want, I'll do a separate video on that as well. And uh, another thing that I found really interesting is that if the sun were made of bananas or ice cream or chocolate or anything you could think of, it would be just as hot as it is now. Because the sun uh, is hot, as most of you have noticed, but it's not because of the material that makes it up. It's because the sun weighs a billion, billion, billion tons and it creates such a strong gravitational pull that the core of the sun is under such great pressure that it just it heats up to the point that it gets the temperature that the sun actually is. So pretty much you could make the sun out of, uh, of anything you wanted, I guess, and it would still be really hot. And just to put a number like a billion into perspective for you guys, I'm going to use um, mil a million, a billion, and a trillion in, in seconds so you guys can see what it is. Um, pretty much a million seconds is equal to 12 days, but a billion seconds is equal to 31 years. And if you guys saw my last video, uh, 
a trillion seconds is equal to 31,688 years, which would bring us back to the time when Neanderthals were roaming Europe. <laughs> so that's just, if you saw it, my last video, it goes up to 500 trillion. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to that. And uh, the third thing I want to talk about is, uh, since there's so many stars in the galaxy, how come it's so dark at night? And pretty much, uh, well, most of it is because lots of the light uh, has to pass through all that space, and it doesn't, it kind of fades away after a time, and the universe itself is only 14 billion years old, so we can't even see stars and galaxies that are older than 14 billion years, because the actual visual image of them haven't reached the Earth yet. So, and they never will because um, the light is still expanding and it's really just quite amazing to think about. And uh, yeah. And the final two things I'm going to talk about are uh, two contradicting theories. And uh, I also want to do a little clarification right here. So, first thing I'm going to do is just clarify really quickly. Uh, lots of people think that electricity travels the same thing as uh, light, travels the same speed. And that's really not true because electricity has mass, it has electrons and everything, and nothing that has mass, according to one of these theories, can travel as fast as the speed of light because it has mass. And light has no mass, so it can go much, 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 much faster. So I just want to clarify that because lots of people think that electricity is light and can travel as fast as light, so just, just clarifying there. And uh, yeah, so that first theory, as you heard, is nothing that has mass can travel the speed of light and this is because uh, just because it has mass if it were to come even close to reaching the speed of light it would just get so hot that it would melt and that wouldn't that wouldn't really be good so um, the second thing is that the second theory that contradicts the first one that I just mentioned here is that things can travel faster than light and light doesn't always travel really fast so the speed of light in a vacuum, which is no air at all, is 300,000 kilometers a second. However, light doesn't always go through a vacuum. Uh, for example, when it goes through water, uh, photons and stuff travel about three quarters that of normal speed. But the slowest light has ever been recorded uh, as traveling it was 38 miles an hour, like 17 meters a second. Uh, and that's through rubidium, which was cooled to almost zero degrees Kelvin, which is close to absolute zero, where all atoms cease movement. Light also has been brought to a complete stop, uh, but that doesn't really count because at that, in that case, everything goes faster than light, so that doesn't really count. But yeah, guys, I hope you found this commentary interesting. Uh, leave some more comments as to what you'd like to see videos about. Remember to subscribe, and if you saw the video to this point, leave a comment saying uh, Reaper. Just, just so I just, I'm just curious. And uh, this, as you can tell, was a 47-11 gameplay on mission domination. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great end of the weekend, and I will see you guys next video. Peace.